Automatics are seeing an increase in demand, which is not surprising, as today many modern day automatic gearboxes are no longer slow or even thirsty, which means car buyers are turning to automatics even more and more, and obviously car manufacturers are also launching them more now. The latest one to hit the road is the new Baleno. The new Baleno, unlike other Maruti cars, gets a CVT, so the question is, how good is the Baleno CVT? Well, a test answers all. First of all, the Baleno is quite a good looking hatchback and actually looks bigger than its direct rivals. It is a pleasing shape that will appeal to all. Now, the Baleno CVT is only available in Delta spec, which means you lose out on a few features like LED DRLs or even alloys. But despite that, even in this trim level, the Baleno does impress with its styling. Inside, it is pretty much the best interior we have seen yet in a Maruti small car. The design, while having the familiar Maruti Suzuki details, looks modern. And plus, the all-black cabin looks sporty indeed. The big talking point here is the space inside, as legroom is simply fantastic. Again, Delta spec means you lose out on a few features, but it is still decent to equipped with auto AC, steering controls, audio system, Bluetooth, tail steering, plus of course a standard dual airbags with ABS with EBD. The Baleno comes with two engine options and two gearbox options. Today we are of course talking about the 1.2 petrol with 83 bhp and 115 nm of torque which has a CVT option. An AMT was not in consideration at all considering this is a premium hatchback. Instead, Maruti went to the CVT route which is quite good as it is a lot better than the current Maruti automatics. In the city, the CVT is very smooth and extremely responsive which is what matters and it is really very easy to drive. The shifts are not erratic at all and it really shines here which reason why many would buy this. But however, pile on the revs and it does get a bit noisy with the rubber band effect taking place. However, as said earlier, people who would buy this would do so for the convenience that it offers. In other areas, the new Baleno turns out to be quite impressive, especially in terms of its efficiency and ride and handling. In terms of handling, it is nearly as much fun as the Swift, which is very good indeed. The steering is light but direct and there is not much roll. More good news is the excellent high speed stability and the ride. Yes, in terms of ride quality, the Baleno is a big leap forward from the current Maruti hatchbacks, as it swallowed bad roads with ease. Plus, in this Delta spec with smaller tyres, the ride is even better. In terms of efficiency, Maruti claims the Baleno CVT will give 21.4 km per litre, which is the same as the manual version. And in our test, with some spirited driving, we got 13 to 14. You can buy the Baleno CVT at Rs 6.7 lakh, but the big question is, should you? Well, we think it does make sense to buy over the manual simply for the convenience factor. Plus, fuel efficiency is also not affected, which is a big plus. While we do wish Maruti gives the CVT option in higher trim levels also, it is quite decently equipped. And at the moment, it is we think an excellent choice overall.